I've been working on a phased array technique for measurement of corrosion under pipe supports and the other week Creoform came down and did some laser scanning on my test plates. Phased arrays, lasers, pretty much just add spreadsheets and you've got an engineer's dream. Let's check it out. The Phased Array Composite Angle Technique, or PACAT for short, is a research project I've been working on for the last little while, using it to detect and measure corrosion under pipe supports. Now it uses a phased array pair of transducers and a pitch catch setup. In order to validate the PACAT data, I could use a, a zero degree phased array scan or maybe some TFM, but let's be honest, laser scanning is way cooler and I get a much, much higher resolution. A few weeks ago, Brad Crozier from Creaform came down and scanned the test plates for me, showed off a little bit of their laser technology. Here it is. I've got this little setup going on over here. Yep. So what I thought we'd do is we'd, we'd scan this, yeah. the, all these three plates individually. Yeah. And then what I want to do is see how it dumps to Excel. Right. To sort of give engineers that yep. tickly feeling in their stomach when they get to look at data. Of course. Yeah. Okay. No, Fantastic. that's cool. No problem. Now, so this guy, you can pretty much scan in any type of environment. So whether it's reflective, sunlight, so now if I adjust, so I'm going to adjust my lasers to the surface, perfect, and now you just start scanning. So if I zoom out a little, it's a little difficult to see the lines, but what I can do is I can potentially bump them up a little, but yeah, so you're just kind of painting over the surface, trying to get as much detail as possible, even around the edges. So that's one thing I really do believe in is, you know, when you're 3D scanning, it's kind of like taking uh, taking pictures when you're on vacation. Yeah. You can never take too many, but you can always not take enough, right? So it's always good to get the data you need and then you can filter it after. So, hey, Brad, thanks yeah. for coming. And no uh, I guess I'm going to get some files from you later and yes, we'll check absolutely. them out in there. Yeah. All Sounds right. Good. Cheers, man. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. All right. What do we do with all of this great data that we get out of Creaform? Well, we can turn it into a spreadsheet and use it from there. And that's sort of the same thing you do with a UT grid, only at a much, much higher resolution. An inspection is more than a piece of paper or a report. The data within that report is used to understand how the material or the item is performing against the design, the code of construction, or maybe the service conditions. In the case of a laser scan, like here with the Creaform data, uh, that resulting report, which generates a grid, can be used in a fitness for service evaluation or an FFS. So that fitness for service uses the grid to calculate the current condition of the pipe in that area to determine whether it's still fit for purpose or not. As the amount of damage increases, the more detailed and accurate the information needs to be. Now, the benefit of using tools like Creaform is that the data can be easily imported into advanced modeling and engineering tools like a finite element analysis package or FEA. Now, there's always a difference between the model that you send out for machining and what you might get back. Now, the Creaform data prove that my machinist, that's Benmer Precision in Waterloo, Keith Benninger, did an awesome job because it matches the model perfectly. Let's see the results. Here is the Creaform data in green and the PACAT data in all the other colors. Now, what you see on the image is the river bottom. If you're familiar with pipeline integrity, you know you have a corrosion patch and maybe you've done a grid on it. And then along each column, you find the deepest point and you sort of plot those down at the bottom and it creates kind of a path. You can imagine it's like a virtual path that goes through the corrosion, sort of your worst case scenario. The green line on the data is the Creaform river bottom and the PA cat data is in all the other colors. Now the different colored PA cat lines, those are simply different probe spacing or the distance between the fronts of the wedges. We went from 150 millimeters to 350 millimeters. Now you can imagine that with a phased array approach, that PCS is basically arbitrary. At any probe uh, spacing, you always are receiving one of the angles, whereas it's quite a bit different with conventional UT, you have to be very careful about where you place the other probe. 
The plan at the outset of the project was always to see how far we can go with what we've already got. The idea was not to require people to go out and buy a whole new expensive piece of equipment for just doing corrosion under pipe supports. So I've tested it with the Sonatest Veo, the ZTEC Topaz, Olympus OmniScan, and Edify Gecko, and it works just fine. We are just getting into the field trial stage right now, so stay tuned for that. If you can lift the pipe or completely cut the pipe support out, nothing beats an actual hands-on inspection like a UT grid or a laser scan. Now, unfortunately, sites are hesitant to do this usually because depending on the severity of the corrosion, that pipe support may be a pressure retaining pipe support. So we need to continue to push the elephant. Elephant, no, don't push elephants. Push the envelope and develop new techniques. Again, I'd like to thank Brad Crozier for coming down from Creaform and doing the laser scans for me and to my friend and fellow engineer, Sean Key in Newfoundland for the Fitness for Service info. If you liked the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you didn't, let's get online and sort this out with Mario Kart. Thanks for watching.